Hello again, everybody. I'll bet the key is another mechanical cube thing that looks different from all the previous ones. I was right. One thing that I think is a bit of a lost opportunity in Skyrim is how a lot of dwarven ruins have... Did his hair just... Did his hair really open that door? Did I miss see that? You can see the book right here. Oh yes, that's interesting. Very cool. So tantalizingly close. But trust me, no magic will open that. I'd have had Very cool room here. Quite different from most of the dwarven ruins that I've seen before. I wonder if these writings say. Maybe I can find out no, information about that. have to do this the hard way. If we can restore the steam supply to this room, I'm certain I can open it. As you'll see, that's easier said than done. This way. Nah, I want to see what this thing is. Can't do much with it. I guess it'll be used later on. Oh, very well. I'll leave this interesting room. Elevator. That's mysterious. The elevator only transfers the person who pulls the lever. Well, I stand it and don't get moved around somehow. I guess I'd better use Aura Whisper, because Detect Life won't work. I was here alone then, and I find that assistance is absolutely essential to this kind of dirty, dangerous world. Interesting. Nicharbak, the city of a hundred towers. In its day, Lass! it was the largest in the great Dwemer archive, and perhaps the most advanced. In the Spiders old down there. When the Nords came said that Dwemer submerged the entire city beneath the sea until the invaders gave up. I have my doubts, but the city was a marvel of Dwemer and We're just blindly walking in here, huh? As you can see, most of the lower levels of the city are flat, but it isn't hopeless. The old Dwemer... I do wish you'd stop chatter for a moment let us just enjoy the scenery. This is very cool stuff, I think. Another cube thing. I guess what I was saying before is it seems like... A lost opportunity that they keep using totally different mechanical keys for each different Dwarven Ruin, instead of having one or two kinds of keys that they build up some lore for so we know something more about the Dwarven society and how they worked. Each one's kind of just like a new key that doesn't really get developed at all. That sounds fun and interesting. As you know, I've never done this quest before, so I don't really know what to expect exactly. I guess this is just to teach that you can interact with them like any other item, so you don't assume that they're stuck on the pedestals or something like that. Now, there are dwarven spiders inside there, I know it. I detected them. I wish they hadn't done this as exposition and had let us actually see the map and learn that for ourselves, or at least half learn it for ourselves or something. That could have been interesting. That might be useful later on. I'll leave that ballista alone. It'd be cool if we were figuring this out for ourselves, of course. So far, so good. Looks like an interesting place. Different from most of the Dwarven Ruins that I've seen so far. Oh, there's another key over there. I guess we need to have one so they keep going forward. Well, there's two of them together, let me throw fireballs instead. What, did I, or something else in mind there? So 
So far, you're only power shooting lightning bolts. These things can do that too, Nella. I'm being silly to waste my time looting these when I already have more money than I know what to do with, of course. What kind of equipment do I have on anyway? You know what, I'm gonna put the mask on. Partly just for fun gameplay, and also just partly because he also doesn't think that Neloth will be taken as a reliable witness by anybody. Bring up the Erudite, and the Lutelos, yeah, we'll go with that. Now I've got some nice short shout time, so I can scout. Oh, there's a Centurion over there, I guess. I better watch out for traps too, of course. Oh, more Centurions. This place is just crawling with them. I always both love and hate going to Dwarven Ruins as warrior characters who are doing smithing, because I just enjoy looting all of the Dwarven metal stuff and then smithing cute tempers of Dwarven arrows or armor or things like that. Very cool room. These must be the great of I agree. So far this is a really exciting place. It's a shame I won't be able to finish it today. That this is going to be a puzzle room as well as a boss fight room against a centurion or something. I like the water sounds that we can hear here too. I'm glad that flickering ocean thing seems to have stopped rather than following me in here. Maybe we'll get some lore about what the cubes are here, I'll try it. No, I was asking about what the cubes are and not what we use them for, but we don't really have an option to ask the interesting question. I still don't really buy at all that no magic could open that little tiny flimsy glass wall between us and the book, but whatever. It does sometimes frustrate me how in Skyrim there's no option to ask interesting questions or have your character not be an idiot in dialogue. Well, one of these devices will probably lower the water levels, but... I guess that Centurion is meant to be unfinished, and gameplay-wise it seems to just be a decoration. That's cool. So all the creatures are... Yes, obviously. So we're trying to open that door on the north side that we passed by. Okay. I could just get down to the water. I wonder if I can get over to there. Use my unique Dragonborn abilities. Oh, that's kind of cool. I shouldn't really be wasting my time looting these things when I don't need them, but it's interesting. I command powers you can only dream of, Neloth. I can jump. Hmm. I wonder if I can jump back. Yep. Okay, let me run back over and try controlling one of these devices. Oh, there we go. I couldn't see what it had changed, but I guess now the water level's lower. But we've uncovered a ton of dwarven creatures. Yes, obviously. Okay, one of those down. Well, I will leave him to deal with those things, since he commands such great powers. I'm sure he can handle it. I should probably just be smart and create a summon. That will do. Now then. Oh, he is... What an idiot. Some genius wizard he is. He's going down to engage in melee with a sphere. Two spheres, no less. As you might remember me mentioning, by the way, fire is the best element against dwarven stuff. They resist all magic, somewhat. They're immune to cold, which is a big change from Morrowind. In Morrowind, they were weak to cold, and that I don't know if that's supposed to reflect like a difference in how the dwarven things are constructed here in Skyrim, or if it's just like a retcon, or they just didn't bother checking. Who knows? These used to be said to be steam-powered, and now it's more like they're powered by soul gems in some mysterious way from the books that we read in Skyrim. Neloth is a tough one, isn't he? I don't think anybody could reasonably take that many hits from a dwarven sphere. They can usually instant kill or two it kill people. But he just tanked two of them at once like a, a dummy. 
good to know that he's insanely durable if I ever need to fight him at some point in the future. Lost. But unfortunately, I don't have much more time for Skyrim today. Oh, that Centurion over there might get released later, I bet. Hmm. In any case, I need to call this good for now and continue this adventure in a future episode. There'll be a delay, though. I think I'm going to be quite busy with some life things that'll come out for the next couple of months. So I'll finish Age of Mythology on schedule, but Skyrim and Warcraft will have to wait a little while before I can pick them back up again. I'm sure I'll do a few sporadic videos in the meantime before I get back to doing my you know, regular updates every two weeks. I certainly look forward to continuing this adventure. This is quite a cool place so far. And I'm quite curious what will happen if I put the other cube into the other pedestal there. Looks like this could be a pretty cool puzzle room. I guess we'll see. Until next time, have a great day, everybody.